you know, I used to write there years ago, back in the day, I call it, and, uh, and, and some, of the, some of the cast members would hang out with the celebrities that, that came and hosted Saturday Night Live, and some wouldn't. Do you ever hang out with any of the celebrities that, that host the show? We, um, I hung out with Ian McCullen. Really? Yeah, on the last show. That's a cool dude, man. Yeah. Yeah, he like, he like 70 something, but he hang out like an 18 year old. He gets crazy? What do you mean? I love it. Yeah, he party, he dance and everything. He was doing the Harlem, Harlem Shake and everything. <laughs> Ian McKellen was doing the Harlem yeah. Shake, really? Yep. Yeah. He's cool though, man. We hung out all night. Yeah. That's my dude. He's a, he's a knight. That's right. He's Surrey Ian McKellen. Yeah. He was knighted. <laughs> They yes. Him. Yeah, he's a knight. I yeah. tried to get knighted. I asked him how could you get knighted. He had some money on me, so I wanted to get knighted. <laughs> I mean, Sir Project dude, you know? Yeah, right, right. <laughs> they need one of those. Sir Ghetto, you know? <laughs> Did he, he wasn't up for it? Nah, he didn't want to let me get next to the queen. He said, you gotta go <laughs> to the queen. Now, okay. you know, I could have took the train to England or something like that. <laughs> we'll help you get there, I promise. Yep. You, you worked the Olympics recently for NBC. You did some stuff for them. That was cool, man. That was like the highlight of my career, being at the Olympics. You know, brothers and sisters don't even dig the Winter Olympics like that. But really? Listen, they're they're not that interested? Nah. We stick, we stick to the summer sports, the right. summer games. Right. Track and field and basketball and stuff. Right. Winter doesn't but, hold much interest, no. Nah. It's too cold. <laughs> I, I didn't believe that they wanted me to host the Winter Olympics. I thought it was like my Uncle Bernard playing a game with me. <laughs> they said, nah, it's NBC. We want you to go out there and do it. And I said, cool. So you go out to Salt Lake City. What was your impression when you got there? No black people. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It was like me and my wife and my three kids was 85% of the black population. You know? I was like, y'all sure y'all want me here? <laughs> It was cool though, man. You know, yeah. I ain't know nothing about Mormons and stuff like that. But they they got it together. You know, they could have more than one wife. <laughs> I'm thinking about moving out yeah. here. <laughs> it's a good deal. They had you uh, just don't get divorced. No, no. Because all of them would get you. <laughs> I haven't broke. thought of that. Did you uh, did you notice when I was there? I was there for like three days. This in the Salt Lake, right? In Salt Lake, the security. Was I like insane. saying that word, Salt Lake. The security what? The security was crazy. When I was at the airport security, that was insane. Yeah, you had to sit down like 30 minutes into the flight. They say sit down. Right. They say sit down, and they mean it. They say, you know, the, the stewardess, they're really nice. You know, passengers, but, but going in there, the security, they said sit down. Right. <laughs> you had to sit down on the plane, and it was crazy going through the airport because since 9-11, things have changed. Right. And it just amused me to see, like, angry white, half-new white dudes angry about having to take their shoes off and stuff. So everybody shook down now. Right. Everybody's profile. <laughs> <laughs> now so we can't just worry about Whitney Houston and Bobby Brown. <laughs> <laughs> it's everybody Everybody's now. profile now. <laughs> you full level, level playing field now. <laughs> now we know what it's like to be them. Mm -hmm. Did you see any... I, I, I even, um, me and my friend Supreme, we don't even be flying nowhere. We just go to the airport and watch now. <laughs> Why? I took the kids out to watch angry white people get checked. <laughs> <laughs> I take the kids out of school so they get a real education. Now. Right, right. You see that? That's how we used to be. <laughs> but it's different. It's well, different. Nice. Yeah, black people going through the airport is different than when white people go to the airport. Like black, black people, when we go through the metal detective and when it goes off, we all make that same face. <laughs> Suspects. Did you see any events while you were out there? What events did you check out while we, you were we there? Saw, uh, we saw skiing. Really? We to see the downhill ski. Downhill I didn't ski? really think that was... Uh, it don't take really a lot of athletic ability to put some skis on and fly down a hill 80 miles per hour. I no. wanted to see him go up the hill. <laughs> and my wife started arguing about it. Why they don't go up the hill? <laughs> that takes ability. <laughs> you have to be a true athlete to go up the hill in skis. Uh -huh. Well, do you ski? Black people don't ski. <laughs> uh huh. You got a movie coming out. Thirty Years of Life. I was just about to say that. <laughs> Thirty Years. No, it ain't got nothing to do with jail. <laughs> What's it about? It's about uh, six friends, uh, you know, turning thirty years old, and we all trip out. Now, if there's an age of reason, is thirty it? You know, we all turn thirty, and we all just bug out and trip, and finally everything comes together. So it's a nice ending. You don't yeah. want to give it away, though. No. Nah. 
Go check it out. 30 Years to Life is now playing. It's in New York, and then it's in L.A., and mm -hmm. it's going to be everywhere. Mm -hmm. Sound Out Live, tomorrow night, host Cameron Diaz, musical guest Jimmy Eat World. Oh, that's going to be great. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to be in it. I'm, I'm, a, I'm a very big Jimmy Eat World fan. <laughs> no, serious. My kids turn me on to that stuff. Yeah. Yeah, things have changed. What changed? You got like a lot of young white kids want to be black. A lot of black, young black kids want to be white now. So my kids listen to Smash Mouth and stuff. <laughs> they don't listen to hip hop. <laughs> I didn't know that that was true. I didn't know that was happening. It's going down in America, baby. <laughs> you heard it here. It's going down in America, baby. Tracy Morgan, thank you. Always good.